So I think we've seen treatment for early stage HER2 positive disease evolve over the last couple of years, where now the standard really is for a patient who has a stage two or three HER2 positive cancer to receive preoperative therapy with chemotherapy and dual anti-HER2 therapy prior to surgery. And then for patients who have residual disease at the time of surgery, to go on and receive 14 cycles of TDM1. And for those patients who achieve PCR to continue dual anti-HER2 therapy with trastuzumab and pertuzumab. For those patients who have stage one HER2 positive disease clinically, those are often patients we would take to upfront surgery. And then out back, um, the standard would be a choice of either paclitaxel and trastuzumab, uh, for 12 weeks, followed by nine months of trastuzumab, or to consider TDM1 uh, in that setting.